In this tutorial, we'll take a look at how to use multiple blank components attached to one another to perform a compound rotation in VSP. Now, if we press the R button and center in out here on this kind of made up surface on the wing tip, you can see that I've got two different blank components attached to each other in component translation and rotation, and then the surface itself. Now, if I came in and decided that I wanted to give this some rotation in Y, you can of course see that it's rotating about the attachment point of the component. Now, I can change where that happens to be by moving this rotation origin X, but that's not really what we want it to do. So let's come back and look at how we can perform a rotation using a single blank component first. Now, in this case, you need to be able to define an order of rotation to be able to get to a different position than the one you started with. And OpenVSP applies those in X, Y, then Z. And the reason for that is because it's going to apply a certain angle, regardless of what you set it, in this order. So that whenever you decide that you change your mind and want to come back to, say, a different set, OpenVSP will treat it as if it went X, Y, and Z no matter what order you adjust these in. So you can't give it X rotation, Y rotation, X, Z, Y, X, and then end up in a completely different orientation than what you started with. So if we set these all back to zero, zero, and zero, we recover our original position. And that's all well and good if you know how those three rotations need to be performed. But if you're using something that depends on intermediate frames, say like an Euler transformation, for example, then you'll need multiple frames that are each kind of built upon the previous step. So here you could think of rotation two is like your X prime system. So for the rotation one, let's say we want to give it a little bit of pitch. Now in rotation two, I can rotate about any one of these three axes that I want. So I can do an X, Y, X, I can do an X, Z, X, I can do whatever I want because each of these allows full control of the system that it's built to. So that's how you can combine multiple blank components in succession to create a compound rotation or even a compound rotation and translation in OpenVSP.